Yes, my friend. Hello. Hi, Christian Prince. <laughs> um, God bless you, my brother. I was just calling to ask you a quick question. All right. Um, first of all, just want to say uh, I really pray that the Lord Jesus Christ blesses your ministry, continues to bless your ministry for his glory. Um, I have two quick questions, and then I'm going to hang up because I'm working and there's a lot of noise. Uh, the first one, I kind of know what you're going to say, but I want to hear just in case, uh, you know, you have something else to say. There's a lot of, like, talk and, uh, like, uh, like I'm sure you've heard of, like, Jay Smith and all these guys about how, you know, there's so much evidence that Muhammad might not have even existed. Um, do, do you ever pay attention to any of that? Did you listen to any of that? And, um, like, I know for us, for sure, it's way better that, that we act like Muhammad did exist because he's, he's such a blessing for Christians because we can just really Islam with him. But um, just as far as, like, you know, you personally, do you ever think about any of that stuff? Yeah, you know, I saw some of those videos. But you need to ask yourself first, uh, how you can prove that somebody does not exist? It's like saying to me, it's like an atheist saying to me, I'm going to prove to you that there's no God, but if he does not exist, you can't prove that he doesn't exist. Right. You know what I mean? Like, is uh, like I can prove to you something is exist, but I can't prove to you that it's not exist. If they are talking about the, the philosophy idea. Uh, however, all what they have is a theory. It can be true, it can be false, but why I want to waste my time and talk about something. I want to debate a Muslim. I debate him about what he believe. Yes. Yeah. If a person yeah. he come to you and he says, "I want to prove to you that Jesus is not exist, never was exist." You laugh, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we know what are you talking about? We have history. We have historian. We have uh, uh, the computer run by the date of Jesus. So uh, uh, there is there is a there is a study it can be useful for people in the level of academy. You know, let us say, I'm a person who's studying history. Uh, I am a scientist in history. That make it legitimate to go there because simply, this is my field, and I'm trying to find out. But for average person, as a Christian, if I want to argue with Muslims, then I have to argue with them about what they believe, not what I think. Oh yeah. So yeah, a Muslim, he says, is a prophet. Okay, how how your prophet is a prophet, but he do not know uh, the future. How he says such a thing? If I if I start saying to him, your prophet never exists. Uh, yeah, there's not there's no point of talking. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I, I agree with that. Um, okay, and then so then the the second thing, um, the other day or uh, not too long ago, I. Uh, I, I saw some some Ahmadiyya Muslims. They were uh, they were out on the street. They were evangelizing, and I went up to them and I talked to them, and and you know I was trying to to kind of tell them uh, all the stuff that I learned from you, basically, right? So they but they you know they, they have like this this idea that Islam was basically created by the Muslims, and that this guy Ahmad came and and pretty much uh, made it into the peaceful religion that it was supposed to be. And, and, and they definitely, like, you know, the guys that I talked to anyway, they acted like this guy was like a prophet, and, and they called him a prophet, they called him a messiah, and, and this and that. So the, basically the question is, um, how much more, how, you know, how do you approach Ahmadiyya Muslims, first of all? And second, like, you know, what, would, uh, what should I do? You see, situation? first of all, before we speak to people, we need to know what they believe, correct? Yeah. Okay. Ahmadiyya, they believe in what? Do you know? Yeah, they believe that this guy from India came uh, 150 years ago, and he claimed to be the Messiah. Exactly. So he came first. Like he yeah. came first. First, he was married for three years. So he was married, and then he become a man. His name is the uh, Ahmad Mirza Qulam, and he claimed to be the Messiah, which is very funny. However, I don't want to waste their time and my time. How the Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, who claimed to be the Messiah, he died, asked him. They will say he died because of cholera. Yeah. How somebody, he claimed to be the Messiah, and then he died because of... Mm -hmm. Not only that, he died in the top of... He fell down in... This is a website, I will show it to you on the screen. 
and this is an Ahmadiyya website. They are trying here to refute us, you know, they were refute. Uh, the death of the Messiah, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, peace be upon him. Mm -hmm. Some they say, they are saying here, some they say that the Messiah, he died uh, in a certain way, which is like, you know, supposed to prove that he is not the Messiah. So they are, they are going to refute us. How the Messiah, he died? Did he die because of diarrhea? The question. The promised Messiah, peace be upon him. Because his death arrived while he was sick with diarrhea. So look at the logic of those Ahmadiyya. I will use a translation. Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, the proof that he is the Messiah, that he died because of diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. You know, they are claiming that this is Allah, he became a murderer. He became mm -hmm. a murderer to Allah. Those who they are saying how he can be the Messiah and he died because of diarrhea, their mm -hmm. ignorance of religion of Islam, they don't, should know that this is how Allah, he proved that he is a murderer for Allah. And this is a proof that he is the Messiah. So the Messiah, how we can recognize the Messiah for Ahmadiyya? It's by his. This is a false Messiah. They, their, their, their Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he claimed that he came to to destroy the cross, and he claimed he destroyed the cross already. And uh, how he destroyed the cross? Uh, Ahmad Mirza Ghulam, he mentioned the story of uh, uh, Mary uh, uh, in the Bible, where she was wiping the feet of Jesus by her tears and her hair. He says he said. That Jesus, he loved a person, and he was a drinking person, and he and he's not talking about himself. Remember, he's saying he is the Messiah. So he's saying the Messiah of the Christian is a Messiah who loved. Person. But all of us we knew that this is a very low class because this is not what happened. The the woman she was crying, asking for forgiveness, and Jesus he forgave her sin. So he is a false man. He's a, a very hypocrite. So I advise you before you speak to them, learn more about them so you can refute them. Not uh, because they will try to use the Bible. And then you ask them, what is the proof that this guy is the Messiah? How the Messiah can be the Messiah or the true Messiah? And yet he cannot heal himself. Christians, they came to this guy and they said to him, you know, he went once in the morning, they come to his door and they have blind people, sick people in their chairs. And they said to him, well, can you heal them as the Messiah do? He, he closed his door and he ran away. His door and he ran away. I hope <laughs> I answered you. Anything yeah, else? So, so basically just uh, for, for when it comes to them, you attack the man, not Islam itself. Right, well, thank friend. you very much, Chris and Chris. You, you've been going for a lot of hours, man. God bless you, brother. Have thank you. Thank All you. Right. God bless. Bye. Mari ikut Yesus Mari ke jalan yang benar Tuhan berkati